the zoo with the star of 10 Days in the Valley, Mr. Felix Solis. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, we need to sit down, baby. You know what to do? Okay, one, two, three. Wow! Oh. That happens to me all the time. That hurt. That hurt. You feel good? I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Are you scared of Vivian? No, no. Is that what you were sitting on? No, I don't bite. Don't worry. She actually does. That's not true. I bite, though, so watch out. No, I appreciate the hard firmness of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Anyway, welcome. Hi. All right, so tell us about 10 Days in the Valley. You're playing Commander Gomez? Is that what? Yes. Yeah. What kind of commanding are you doing? For the police force? For, like, the Marines? Who? Do you command commando? commando? Oh my god, yeah. That's so a funny yeah. story about the commander thing, but yes, no, I play the commander of the Los Angeles Detective Department okay. here in in, in, uh, in LA. Nice. And uh, and the show is about Kira Sedgwick, who's a fantastic actor. She's the lead of our show, and she plays this woman who's like a TV writer. She's like a Shonda Rhimes type person. Okay. And she's created this show that is bringing sort of the underbelly of the Los Angeles Police Department up to fruition through what she's been writing on the show. Mm -hmm. So as the actual commander of the department, I see this and it piques my interest and I'm a little bit more uh, concerned about how the show is not shedding a good light on the police force that I, you know. Don't they actually have to in. get permission sometimes to even use LAPD or something like that? Okay, for TV so shows? like, why are you like spoiling all oh, kinds sorry. of storylines <laughs> for like the <laughs> entire no, season? Is? <laughs> no, but, but yes, you're right. Yeah. It's part of that. It is part of that. Part okay. of the uh, the legality behind okay. what you can and what you can do is definitely part of the, the show and part you of the, just have a letter. the mystery like, of it. LAPDI yeah. or something, <laughs> or PDA. <laughs> they, <laughs> or just be like that. No, but that's part of it. That is part of it. But the funny story about the commander thing. Uh -huh. uh, no, because there is a funny story. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, when you're uh, when you're on a show and you're lucky enough to be someone who's considered a series regular, you get your own chair, right? Hey. Everybody gets their own chair. And With your name on it and everything. Yeah. It's really, it's... Where's my chair in the <laughs> <laughs> we'll Yours, on. everybody's right. here. Exactly. We're working on chairs. <laughs> oh, but you get your chair, right? And depending on the show and depending on the way that they want to create it and the ambiance they want to have on set, you put either the character's name on the chair mm -hmm. or you put the actor's name on the chair. Okay. First time I got a, my own name, I took a photo, I sent it to my mother, we all cried, it was great. Aww. But like, but this, in this show, they put the characters' names. Okay. So, so Commander is spelled with two M's. Uh-huh. And so when we got the chair and we put it, there was an M missing. Okay. They misspelled the word Commander. Millennials today, that they were, they were, it was a young kid in charge of it, and I, they messed it up because there was no spell check. You, oh. said, you said it, I thought it, you said it. And yeah. so, and, and so anyway, so I asked the art department, I was like, I don't want this change. Everybody's like, oh no, we're gonna have to change this quick. And I was like, no, no, let's not change it. Go get a marker. Okay. I want a mark. And I literally, where the marker wrote, like the little arrow, the correction arrow, and then I wrote the additional <laughs> yes. S. Well, you're the commander. I mean, you don't have to ask anyone. Just go on and fix and so it. So now it's Which like, you, it was you, like you that. You know what the director and the people, the producers said when they saw that? They go, Latinos are so easy to work with. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else would have made us get them a new yeah, chair, and he just got a marker, and he no, fixed the situation. Fix it. Latinos do that. Latinos do that. How can I fix this? DIY yeah, yeah. in the so house. Did, <laughs> so we did yeah, it. By the way, we fixed up this entire set. Is that what yeah, we've just Yo, added. I was and... to ask about this backdrop. It's cool, all huh? like Batman, DC oh, kind of yeah. crap. And it then really going represents on. Sante, Sante Pentivolio. I want to give a shout out to the artist. He's an amazing artist yeah. and he's done no, a lot of the stuff awesome. here. Yeah. 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 It's real cool. So tell us a little bit yeah. about like the Al Pacino letter that oh. you have. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, we're talking about letters and stuff and this is a big deal. And then, you it know, is. you said something like, you know, when you're finally a serious regular and you get all these moments of like, I'm going to send a picture to my mom. I mean, Al Pacino wrote a letter to you. Yeah. Tell us did. about it. Well, I'm a member of a theater company in New York. I've been a member for almost 20 years. It's called the Labyrinth Theater Company. Okay. We started back in 94. I could be wrong with the years. But uh, anyway, so we did a production there uh, that was called Our Lady of 121st Street. And it takes place, it's a, basically a murder mystery. It takes place, they're trying to figure out who killed the nun who helped raise all of the kids in the neighborhood. Oh, wow. Right? Mm. And so he came and saw the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I was quickly, after the show closed, I quickly went on vacation. It was a long run. I did over 100 shows. I played an alcoholic detective. It was a tough show. Wow. So I was like, I need a break. So I went to Puerto Rico. Nice. And uh, was chilling in Puerto Rico. And Which is then, home, uh, right? Yeah, that's where I'm from. Yeah. Okay. My, well, I'm not, my parents are from. Okay. I'm New Yorker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that term. Yeah, I'm New York. Yeah, and uh, and so anyway, I was there hanging out, and this woman was like, you got a FedEx package. And I was like, what? 
And I opened it, what? it was a card. <laughs> I it love was a it. card, it was a letter that said I was at the show, the final show was the final performance. I was at the show, very proud to have you be, because I'm also a member of the Actors Studio in okay. New York. And so that he said, very proud to have you be a, a part of uh, our company at, at the Actors Studio, and you're, you're a fine actor, all the best. Nice. And, it, and Al, that. Al Patino <laughs> wrote the letter. Like, well, oh. return address, did you write back to him? Well, I, what happened afterwards? I did. Well, I mean, I ended up working with him for six months. We did. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, we did the. We do these things called a reading series at the Actors Studio, where you, uh, he chooses a play that he's been wanting to work on forever, and he literally works on it forever. So we read. <laughs> we did readings okay. of this play called Salome that Oscar Wilde wrote. It was a, a retelling Wilde. of yeah. the Salome story and. He played uh, King Herod, and I played his page, and uh, and so we worked together for six months. And all we did was we would come in, sit at the studio, open up the scripts, and just read the what script. What a class, no? I mean, <laughs> master class. Seriously, master class. You yeah. have a lot of gravitas, so you. thank you. I mean, the way that you speak, you definitely. I mean, one of the tips, and I'm not an actor, but Viv, you are. It's, uh, uh, project from the diaphragm or the gut. I think yeah. that you. I mean, is that? Voz de pecho. Yeah. Is that the, I need yeah. to. Because I'm up here. Right here. I'm up here in the way I talk. I gotta bring it down. I gotta bring it down here. Is that? It's so here. Here. And it's really annoying. <laughs> my voice. I know. No, I need no, to work on that. It's but not. it's part of your breath. It's just part of your breath. Do you do yoga, breath work, that kind of. I did. I did. I practiced yoga for a little bit, and then realized it was uh, it was more for me that I needed the yoga of psychology mm -hmm. rather than the uh -huh. yoga of the body. So I meditate and do things like that. Nice. But, Bhakti um, yoga. Things like that. Yeah, that's a bit more uh, integral and more traditional to what it is. But it's all about your breath, brother. You take a breath, and in that breath, you speak. Okay, can, can you lead I us through a one quick? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's okay. do. Let's do. A okay, let's do. Quick okay. Exercise. So. <clears throat> All you're gonna do mm -hmm. is you're gonna think of somebody that you care about. Aww. That's all you wanna do right can now. It be hot, can it be hot and shirtless? You can do whatever okay. you want. <laughs> so this I'll is have just, that thought too. You just wanna think of somebody that you care about. Right? Okay. And then you take a deep breath. Okay. And you just tell them you love them. Out loud? Yeah. Oh. oh. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but let's do it all together. I don't know if I can do this. One, two, three. three. I love you. Yeah, see, because it's about a thought. It's okay. connecting your thought to somebody Beautiful. you have it's in your mind and you the use intention. the breath. Yes. And you have course. the best eyelashes that I've seen on a guy, just so you know. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Whoa. Best eyelashes in the world. It always gets me in trouble because they're a in pain trouble. in my butt, but everyone says, how dare you complain about them? They are yeah, amazing. They're, they're